The government is offering $2,500 in Jamdex, that's Jamaica's new digital currency, to anyone who opens a digital wallet. But if you've been wondering how this digital currency and wallet work, you're not alone. Luckily, you have me. I'm Kalila Reynolds, and it's time for another episode of Money Mondays JA. So you may have seen the logo going around for the new digital currency called Jamdex. It's an Aki design that kind of has a digital look. So Jamdex is the digital version of the Jamaican dollar. It's exactly like physical money, except that you can't hold it in your hand. Now, if you've been wondering how this is different from making a bank transfer, an important part of the difference is no fees. Because if I'm paying you cash for a service, I don't pay a transfer fee, right? Well, it should be the same with Jamdex. It's just like a hand-to-hand -hand transaction, but it is actually phone-to-phone. -phone. So the finance minister, during his budget presentation on March 8, demonstrated how it works and how he used it to pay his barber instantly. Paul is here today. Paul the barber is here today. And I am going to log into my Lynx Jamdex account. And I am going to pay Paul the $500 I owe him using central bank digital currency Jamdex. Watch me now. Watch me. I hit transfer. I look for Paul. Here's Paul. How much I say? 500? All right. No. I'm going to click send. Ready? Click send. Sending the $500 right here. It gets sent. And watch here now. Central Bank Digital Currency live and direct on your television screen. The first Jamdex transaction in Jam public transaction in Jamaica. So Dr. Clark actually used a digital wallet to make the transfer. A digital wallet is a software-based system that securely stores users' payment information and passwords for numerous payment methods and websites. Users can complete purchases easily and quickly with near-field communications technology. You don't need a bank account to have a digital wallet. It works using the telecoms system. But you do need a smartphone to use the wallet app. Now, right now, the only digital wallet available is NCB's Link app. But Minister Clark says Jamdex will be available later this year through other digital wallets from other financial institutions and not just banks. Remittance providers, for example, will be involved in providing access to digital wallets. I'm not sure about whether they will be interoperable, which will be key to the success of Jamdex, but we'll find out more as the rollout continues. I actually have an interview on taking stock with BOJ Deputy Governor Natalie Haynes, who's in charge of this whole project, and I'll be asking her about that. So definitely check it out. Now, digital wallets can be used in conjunction with mobile payment systems to allow you to pay for purchases with your smartphones. It serves anyone with a smartphone who would like to do business with it. And there are so many benefits. It's cashless, instant, convenient, mobile, and secure. You don't have to walk with a lot of cash, which makes you vulnerable to robbery. And also, if you forget to carry cash, you can always just whip out your digital wallet. And to get you started, the government is giving the first 100,000 people who sign up after April 1, 2022, $2,500 in Jamdex to add to your new digital wallet. And that's digital cash that you can spend on basically anything. So 
where can you spend it? Well, the more people who adopt it, the more places you'll be able to use it, which is why the government is giving this incentive to get more people to start using it. Here's what the finance minister had to say about that. The more corner shops, the more vendors that accept Jamdex, the more useful it becomes. When we have the cane man, when we have Nutsi, when we have Soupy, and when Keisha <laughs> can collect the partner draw through Jamdex, Madam Speaker, with our igloo, it's then we're going to be rolling, Madam Speaker. So, Madam Speaker, the discourse needs to take place in the broader context of the seismic shift in our societies and the world. So, what do you think about Jamdex? Will you be giving it a try? Let me know in the comments below.